Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we're going to talk about using the NIM programming language in Unreal Engine. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to do this. You don't want to work in C++ and you don't want to use the Visual Blueprint system, but you're looking for a programming alternative. NIM could be a good fit. First, an introduction. Uh, Unreal Engine, I'm assuming if you're a regular channel, you know about Unreal Engine. Uh, AAA class game engine, usable completely for free, up to a million dollars in revenue. Uh, huge topic, way beyond what I could cover here, but uh, it's a game engine. Uh, on top of that, uh, there is NIM. NIM is a program programming language. It is a systems level programming language statically compiled. So basically it's a lot like C or C++. Uh, but as you can see from the syntax over here, it's also quite a bit simpler. Uh, you do have a lot of modern language features in NIM, but it was basically designed uh, to do that low level performance stuff that you'd currently would do in something like uh, the C or C++ programming language. It's actually been used to make programs such as Embergen. So NIM definitely has some credentials for low level programming work. If you want to learn more about NIM itself. Uh, last year, almost a year ago today, um, I covered the NIM programming language in this particular video. Uh, there are programming language bindings or, or uh, game development bindings for things like SFML, Raylib, SDL, Allegro, plus OpenGL, Vulkan, etc. So it's a very game-focused programming language on top of things. And what we're talking about today specifically, though, is this. This is NIM for UE. Uh, it's for Unreal Engine 5, although we're going to be using it with 5.x in this case. And the entire idea is it's going to offer you a new programming language option other than C++, but it's going to give you features like hot reloading, um, the ability to still integrate with Blueprint. So basically, the final aim final aim, so it's still a work, in develop, a work in progress here, but the final aim is to be able to do anything in NIM that you can currently do in C++. And right now you can do a heck of a lot in NIM. Again, this is very much in development. It is not completely feature complete. Uh, I actually worked with the developer to a, a certain degree to get things up and running. If you run into some build problems, there is a fix being submitted up chain to the NIM programming language itself. Hopefully that is out and you won't run into build problems. But if you do, just be aware, check that little article at the bottom of this document. So the entire idea behind NIM for UE is basically uh, it outputs DLLs that are hooked into Unreal Engine. So you should get C++ like program. Um, performance out of it, but using a different programming language. And where you're going to want to start is here at this template, which is right here. This guy, this project, by the way, this is entirely MIT licensed and free, which is also very cool. So what you're going to want to do is this command right here. Just come in here and clone this guy. Now you're going to want to have had NIM installed uh, as well as Nimble, the package manager for NIM, and in your system path. The way you're going to be able to test if you've got this setup correct is run the command Nimble. If it works, you're good to go. If not, well, you're not. So what you want to do now is go into a directory somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go into temp, like here, temp, because uh, that's where I do everything. And then we're going to just paste that command. So what we're going to do is clone down that repository. Uh, make sure that you're doing it uh, recursive submodule so all the dependencies are brought down. And once that is complete, what you want to do is switch into the appropriate subdirectory, which you'll notice down here in the instructions, nimble template plugins nim for ue So just basically cd nim uh, plugins. Okay, just that nim plugins nim for ue So this is a directory you want to be in, and now what you want to do is run that nimble command, and then the command setup. So nimble setup. Now this is going to take a little while, and if you run into an issue, this is actually part of the build process. I ran into a problem with it, uh, resolving the wrong uh, pre-compiled headers between the two C++ builds. Uh, if you do run into an issue there, check out that document that was linked down below. This can take a little bit of time, so I'm just going to return when the build is complete. All right, so that is all complete. Now what? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this root directory right here, back to nim template. So do a cd dot dot slash dot dot slash, and we're back at nim template. Now, if you go ahead and look in this directory, what you're going to notice is there is this nim project or nim template dot u project. Open this however you wish. You can open it up, uh, file open from inside of Unreal Engine, or just from a command line right here. You can just go ahead and run it like so. And we'll fire that up. Now, this is going to open up in Unreal Engine 5.1. I uh, should work in Unreal Engine 5 as well. I'm just demoing it with the most recent version. And this is, hear that bing? That's because the NIM code just loaded in. Hot reload was done. Uh, this window is, I'm not 100% certain what this window is, to be honest. So we'll just let it do its its thing, and it's done. So this is a typical third-party template. So you see, if you've done sort of third-person template, 
like so. You can navigate around a simple world. You've got jumping, camera controls, and so on. Nothing, nothing really magical. If you've used Unreal Engine before, you know what we are dealing with right here. Now, the question is, how do I hook Nim up to this template? How do, what is the linkage there? Well, to get that, we're going to head back over here to the command line, and you're going to notice here there is actually this directory called nim for ue We're going to switch into nim for ue like so, and this is pre-configured Visual Studio project for our game, and our game logic is actually in game.nim. So I'm just going to open this up in Visual Studio Code, current directory, and ta-da. So here is our code. Da -da 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 -da. Would you like to open the repository? Yeah, go away. All right. Apparently, I updated versions of Visual Studio Code while we weren't looking. All right, so here we go. This is uh, the, the main entry point of our game. Uh, you can see here, begin play callback, the logic that goes there. Here is the code for move, look, and here is an extension of the game mode. Uh, so a uh, nim game mode is being declared here of game mode base. Um, it's inheriting from this blueprint. So this is the kind of the idea behind it. Truth of the matter is, I don't know nim programming. So I can't really show you a really great demonstration, but I can show you a very simple one. And what I'm going to do is just paste in some code. So right here, as we've got uh, these two here, uh, this is just defining my U class. So we're inheriting from U class of actor. Um, so a actor, very important base class in Unreal Engine. Uh, this is a typical C++ style class that has had NIM bindings for it. Uh, so it's of type blueprint type and blueprintable. I'm calling it AMJF, my initials actor, just so we can find it in a bit. And you'll notice I'm defining two properties for it, example value and another value. So once we've added those in, I can do a control shift B to build this code. And this is going to run through and basically compile our NIM code into a DLL. Uh, it doesn't take too long. It should be uh, pretty quick. And they're going to hear that bing. That bing is the hot reload happening. So it is now available over here. Now, in terms of the integration back into Unreal, engine itself well let's go take a look at actually using it so let's say we want to come up here and go to uh, uh, blueprints and we want to create a new empty blueprint class all classes right here well let's search for amj and there's my base class so there's the actor we just created so i can go ahead and i can implement a blueprint from it so we're going to create a new blueprint derived from my class and what you're going to notice immediately remember over here when we implemented our code our logic over here uh, example value, another value, both, uh, so one's a string, one's an int. You notice those are inherited in our new blueprint. So it's just as if you are inheriting from a C++ class. The big difference here is you are using the NIM programming language. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, and that's kind of the basics of it, to be honest. The rest is, all, so all of the major classes for the C++ stuff has been wrapped in um, the NIM language. So if you're working your project, you basically just set it up like here. This this is a functional and complete program. And as you saw, we extended, we just created our own new class this way. And that's all the code that was required uh, to write a new C++ style class. But instead of C++, we're using NIM. And then once again, when I make changes over here, so let's say I just did that and then do a build, uh, we'll get over here we will get a hot reload as soon as that build is done and that new DLL will become active. So give it one second and then we get that little ding. I don't know if you're going to hear it and I don't have the sound. There we go. So NIM is now reloaded. So if you want to actually go ahead and learn how to use it, what you're going to want to probably do is go back to the NIM repository. This guy right here, both will be linked in the linked article down below. Uh, and then go on into it's 50, 50 chance between source and source. No, it's source. <laughs> okay. Go into source. NIM for UE, and then what you're going to find here is examples. So you come into examples, and you're going to find another, like basically a number of different examples showing you how to use NIM uh, with various different pieces. So if you wanted to do work with a struct, for example, here is how you could create a struct uh, in the NIM language that would then work with Unreal Engine 5. So really what they're using is the NIM programming language here uh, is the underlying programming language, and you can mix it, match it with, again, like we saw here really quickly there is I hooked it up and inherited a blueprint from it just like you could with a C++ class. I can't go into the details of really uh, how to work with it because I, I don't know NIM. So I'm not going to show you a really great example here. But if you're looking for a programming language alternative, something a little bit higher level or more modern than C++, but you don't want to do visual scripting or all visual scripting with something like Blueprint, this is a project to definitely consider checking out. And the other cool thing about it again is this project is free. It is updated 
communicated very actively. The, the main developer is very passionate about this project, and it's under the MIT license, which is a very cool license. So if you're looking for an alternative programming language for Unreal Engine, uh, this project is very mature, expanding at a rapid pace, and it just kind of comes down to you, do you like the NIM programming language or not? So NIM for Unreal Engine, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.